Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andy G. I am here at the famous On Rock Casino in Capone, right here in Miami, Florida. We're not just here to gamble, but we actually came here to come to the Mike Ferry Conference right here with the famous GDT. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because you're here. Yeah. Um, we normally are in Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and uh, the great leadership of Brad, Bobby, and Realtor DR. You guys, the whole team flew over here yeah. to the Mike Ferry Conference. Tell me a little bit about the Mike Ferry Conference. Um, well, it's been really awesome and fun. Uh, for one, Miami's my hometown, so it's been cool to come back here with my team, of course. Really? Yeah. And um, yeah, Mike Ferry Conference has been cool. I feel like uh, professionals practice, so it's nice to be in a place where you know, you're surrounded by other professionals that are trying to perfect their craft. That's right. Well, Gigi, T, I know you have incredible listings in the island, and you've been doing incredibly well. Thank you. Tell me a little bit of what you've been doing to change that dynamic, to be able to be in that pool of, I would say, elite real estate agents in the Dominican Republic. Uh, well, one thing that I do is I like to be um, really involved in the Dominican community. Um, I feel like I get a lot of referrals just from being on the ground and having like a good network of people who want to work with me. Um, one, because I'm Dominican, but also two, because I'm a really good bridge between the different cultures. That's right. And um, that's really where I try to kind of make my little niche is the in-between. All right, well, listen, Realtor VR has been around, I heard, for about three years. I, too, myself, is one of the proud agents of Real to the Year. Big shout out to myself. And it wasn't an easy task, but you know what? Like most folks, I had some butterflies. I had some reservations. Yeah. But coming into a company like Real to the Year, a brokerage firm, with the information that they provide, with the website, with all the training and so forth, it made it so much easier. But unfortunately, not everybody have my chance to experience what you did. But what can you tell folks that they can do tangible right now to get a piece of that paradise? Um, you mean like to buy and invest yeah, in the Dominican Republic? Yeah, to buy and invest in the real, in the real estate in the Dominican Republic. Well, step number one, email me, gg at realtordr.com. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll definitely help uh, find that dream home, that dream property. But um, all jokes aside, I think the number one thing is to really know what kind of investment you want to make. Is it uh, relocating you and your family? Is it a retirement home? Is it a vacation home? Is it just a rental investment so you can earn some passive income and have a place to visit? So I think really knowing exactly why it is that you want this slice of paradise is the number one thing. That's and then right. after that, you know what to shop for. <laughs> you can pretty much do whatever you want going yeah, forward. Exactly. But this is what I've realized. Even myself, I was baffled in the beginning. There's been some, you know, news like unproven about islands, right? People have this misconception about islands, maybe it's too small, there's no, you know, highways and all yeah. types of stuff. What if you were here and how could you debunk some of these misconceptions? Well, um, I would say there, there are definitely some misconceptions present about island life, but for the most part, you know, all the good things about it are true. Yeah, it is a small town, but that's, uh, you know, I say that's a community. It's knowing your neighbors, it's that's having right. people watch out for you. It's, uh, you know, having a beer on the sidewalk and having a good conversation with someone you don't know that well yeah. and learning, you know, all these different walks of life. So I would say that the, the island life uh, is, is nice and it's slow and it's attractive for a reason. And whenever you want, you know, you're only an hour and a half flight from a place like Miami and you can experience this and you know it's right here around the corner okay what about families i mean is it a family friendly community i mean some people are willing you know there's there's actual people that are looking for a new life right so tell me a little bit about the nuance of maybe if you're a family versus if you're just a single man yeah. or a single woman and you want to try something new yeah well i think in the sosua and cabarete area which is where I'm an expert on where we mostly are stomping right. grounds, yes. exactly the north coast of the Dominican Republic. It is absolutely a family place, um, but it is also a place where a single you know, person can go and have a good time and party. And it's also a place where someone can work from home and, and spend their mornings and afternoons on the beach. That's right. It's a great place to retire. It's a great place just to invest and run a business. Um, I know I have several businesses. You probably have several businesses on the island. So I feel like there's something in it for everyone. And it's a place where if you have an idea, uh, you can really bring it to life on the north coast of the DR. Amazing. Talk about the leadership at Be Real to DR. Mm -hmm. I understand, you know, companies, you know, that are in foreign countries 
sometimes they not have that same up, that same, you know, compliance. They not have that same, you know, aggression. And some people actually don't like that. But yeah. what makes Realtor DR stand out from the competitors? Well, I would say number one, it's professionalism. Um, it's, you know, it's not about being aggressive. It's about being to the point. It's about being clear. It's about being dynamic. And um, I think that that's uh, what has made Realtor DR pretty successful. It's just like, hey, you want to make a smart move? We're going to show you exactly how. And uh, that's why we've been successful, I believe. Wow, wow. Well, from my research, I've seen there's probably over $100 million in inventory. I've seen that some of the most beautiful homes are sitting in our inventory, yeah, right? Absolutely. Tell us where can you find these listings, and if you're trying to sell a house, tell them where they can go. Um, www.realtordr.com. Uh, you'll find our inventory and a really easy way to look for the property that you want. There's uh, tabs for different communities. You can search by price. You can search by certain features. So it really is a robust website that's user friendly. Absolutely. Well, talk about a few of the tangible things that someone could do right now, you know, to maybe at least get closer to, to enjoying or being a part or being on the path in yeah. this incredible lifestyle. I would say go on our YouTube channel, uh, absolutely. I think we have um, amazing videos that show the different communities and different things that are going on. So I would say, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click around, see some of the most viewed. We have excellent podcasts and I feel like that's the best way to sort of get a, a good grasp on everything. Listen, I'm not gonna let you go without you answering this question. A few weeks ago, I looked, I was like, oh my God, who was that? And it was you surfing. Uh, when you say you're a woman of many careers and you're an agent, talk about that. What were you doing on those dangerous seas? It was, it was, it's just surfing. <laughs> it was just surfing, uh, okay. Uh, one thing, well, I, this is a good opportunity to mention it, uh, north coast of the Dominican Republic, specifically our Cabaret de Sosua area is the surf capital of the Dominican Republic or maybe sure. even the Caribbean. So Absolutely. we have consistent waves and living on the island for 10 years and Living in Playa Encuentro specifically, I've been able to surf a lot over the last 10 years, and, and I'm finally now uh, an advanced beginner. So An advanced <laughs> beginner. So do you go surfing before you go to work or after? Both. Oh, On my good God, days, both. I envy you. I envy you. <laughs> and this is exactly what I'm talking about, folks. You know, you live a very stressful life. You own highways and byways. And this is going to be a moment where I think folks have to make that, that decision and say, hey, listen. This matrix has been consuming all of my energy, all of my physicality, all of my mental, and what's next. And sometimes what's next is really less, Yeah. right? And this is where I am too with my own family, so I appreciate what you've been doing in the community. Continue doing great work, thank continue you. surfing, continue selling. Thank you, I'll do. And changing people's lives. We'll do, right? thank you. Awesome.